everyone, we're back. This is Teresa with Homeschool Primer, and we are going to complete the experiment for Apologia General Science, and this is experiment 2.1. How weight affects the speed at which objects fall. These are the materials in front of, I mean, on the camera here that um, we need for the experiment. You need a uh, cardboard, just a sheet of cardboard. A heavy book, we have um, our big thesaurus, and then you need just a piece of cardstock paper or construction paper, and a regular sheet of paper, which is right here in front of us. Okay, these are the materials you need, and we're gonna get started. Hello everyone, we're back um, to complete the experiment 2.1 for Apology of General Science. And what we have here is a book, a very heavy book in one hand, and just a sheet of cardboard in the other hand. And what we're gonna do is we're going to actually, in just a moment, we're going to, at the same time, we're holding them parallel to the ground, um, we're going to drop them and note exactly which one hits the floor first. All right, go ahead, Jacob. All right, which one hit the floor first? The book. The book, okay. So put that in your notebook and let's switch to uh, one of our other materials. Okay, now we're back and we're gonna try the same thing we did before um, that we did with the heavy book and the cardboard. Now we're gonna do the heavy paper in the cardboard. Okay, let's drop them. Okay, cardboard landed first. Make a note in your notebook. Okay, we're back and now we're gonna test out the heavy paper and just the regular paper. Regular paper is um, in Jacob's left hand and the heavy paper is in Jacob's right hand. So let's see which one lands on the floor first. Go, Jacob. All right, what did you note? The, um, the regular paper didn't fall first. Okay, which one landed on the ground first? Cardstock paper. The cardstock paper. So let's make a note of that in our notebook. Okay, we are back, and this is experiment 2.2 for Apology of General Science. You might have concluded on our last experiment that objects that are heavier may fall faster, but we have a little bit more um, experimenting to do to, um, to see if that's actually true. So right now we have, let me show you, that's actually not a metal clip. I think that's a plastic clip. We'll have to get a metal clip. Hold on one second. All right, now we're back with the metal clip. We have a metal paper clip, and then we have the book, the really heavy book. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna observe um, which one hits the ground first here, um, kind of like we did before. So let's go ahead and drop those. So which one hit the ground first? Looks like the paper clip did. The paper clip did, okay. Now let's go ahead and take your paper clip and then also do the cardboard over here. And let's try it again uh, with the cardboard and the paper clip, are they level? Okay, drop. Oh, paper clip hit really fast. Yeah. Okay, so let's make a note of that as well. Paper clip is the winner here so far. And now we're gonna take the cardstock paper and the paper clip and do the same thing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. The paper clip hits first. You can hear it hit. <laughs> okay, now last one would be, um, let's try the regular paper and the paper clip. And you got them, okay. Oh, paper clip was still going. Oh, it's way over here. Okay, now wad up that paper into a ball. Okay, and then we're going to um, we're going to repeat step one using the book and the wadded up paper, and just see what happens. Ooh, about do you, the same time. About the same time, I think so too. Okay. So let's try um, the cardboard and the wadded up paper. Ooh, wadded up paper. Now remember before when we did that, the cardboard ended up on the ground first. Is that correct? But now the wadded paper ended up first. Okay, so let's try this. With the, this is a, is this cardstock? Yeah, cardstock and uh, wadded paper. 
Oh, wadded paper won again. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily mean that a heavier object because that paper, when it was flat, took a little bit longer to hit the ground. So what can we conclude here? We can conclude that the shape also of an object may affect how it falls, not necessarily just based on its weight. And that is Apologia, uh, Experiment 2.1 and 2.2 for um, general science.